video will create a docker container for a Kotlin app and we will push that container to AWS, Google Cloud and Azure. So let's get started. First, I will remove here the test uh, folder and uh, in the resources, I will add the server port to AD. So I want uh, the, all the uh, containers that uh, I deploy to run on port 80 because uh, I'm reusing content, but you can, uh, you may change it to the port that you want, doesn't matter. So uh, I added the port 80 and also I will add a controller here. So I'll add the directory controllers and I will create a new uh, Kotlin uh, file so uh, home controller so this will be a class home controller and uh, it will have a function home so let's add also uh, here this should be a rest controller Actually, I will paste everything so I don't want to import it again. So this is our home controller. It will be a REST controller. It will have only one method that will return hello world. So that's it. So this, it is this simple. And now uh, we want to uh, create a Docker container with this simple app. So let's create a Docker file. So first make sure to have installed Docker in your machine and here I will add from, uh, we need the, the environment will be a Gradle and uh, the version will be 7 and uh, the JDK will be 8. So this is a version that uh, of the Gradle and JDK that I want to start. I'll name this as build. So this will be a multi-stage Docker build. I will explain that later uh, why I name it like that. But let's focus first on this part. Let's specify a working directory. I'll call it app. So you can put uh, whatever uh, name you want here. So all the files will be created inside this folder now. So let's copy everything there. So we this first dot is all these files and the, the second one is this working directory. Once uh, we added everything there, we need to run the command dot slash gradle w. We will execute this uh, file build with the stack trace. So uh, this uh, will generate a build folder here. Let us see it. So if I run Gradle W build here, this will generate a build uh, folder. So as you can see, we have a build folder now. So uh, what we want here is uh, to go to the libs and this is uh, our jar that we want to execute. Uh, actually, I'll remove this snapshot. To remove that snapshot, we need to go to Gradle build at gradle that kotlin to remove this so this uh, will create a shorter name without the snapshot so we don't need uh, now any of these files except for these uh, jar files so that's why we created a, mul a multi-stage build because now we can create another container from open jdg and uh, this will be a smaller one. We'll specify the same working directory, but these are different containers. So don't worry if they have the same name. We'll expose the port 80 because uh, we set it uh, to our uh, source folder. And uh, then we'll copy from the builder. We'll copy uh, this uh, path so up build 
libs and then we need the name of uh, the file so I will uh, copy this but uh, we don't need the snapshot so we remove the snapshot so it will be like this that jar so this will be the name of the build and we'll copy it to this working directory and this uh, container only has this jar and we will just execute it so command uh, java jar and i will copy this uh, name and that's it so this is the container let's let's uh, run it and test it so first we have to build it so docker build we need to specify the name for this uh, docker build and we can do that by adding minus t the name of the container will be up so we added this and then we need to add dot which means uh, that uh, it will be in this context and it will, it will execute this docker file let's run it so i made a mistake this is build i forgot uh, a nail here so now everything is running let's wait till this is completed so it is completed now this container is ready to be published to the cloud but before let's test it to our browser to test it to our browser we need to run the container so docker run we need to specify the port so uh, minus p not t and uh, the port uh, inside the docker container is 80 but in our local host we can put whatever we want i will put 8888 and the name of the container was up if we run it like this it will execute it so it's running fine now let's test it on the browser localhost port 8888 we can see hello world here which means our app is running fine now let's uh, deploy this app to the cloud and i will close this uh, id because we don't need it anymore so i'm logged in now to my aws management console and uh, we will push now our docker container to the elastic container registry so i have a shortcut here or we can search it so let's go to the container registry and uh, uh, this is the container registry uh, let's uh, see the repositories so we don't have any repositories or registries uh, we have to create one so uh, we will push our docker container here to have uh, our uh, reg repository first before we do anything make sure to install the aws cli so go to aws.amazon.com slash cli and uh, on the right side here you can download the windows version the mac os version or the linux version so with this you will have access to your terminal to aws and you have uh, several commands that you can use so now let's first log in to elastic container registry by using this command so uh, aws ecr is elastic container registry uh, this is a command to login this is the region uh, region us uh, is 2 pipe docker login the username will be aws the password uh, we it will be generated by this one so uh, that's why is password std in and uh, this uh, other url is like uh, this is our user id so we can find that uh, if we go to our account you, we have the id here so that's it and dot uh, docker dot ecr this is also the same region and amazon aws.com let's run this command and uh, we successfully logged in and uh, now what is left is to push our docker container to the elastic container registry so to do that 
we have to do docker tag uh, the name of our container was app and uh, I will copy again this URL so we have to tag it to this URL slash in the end app so uh, the name should be the same here and this URL will use it a lot so let's tag this and uh, after we tag it we have to push it so uh, remove tag to push and uh, let's wait till it's completed so uh, we get an error that the repository with name app does not exist so let's create it uh, we are here at the repositories and let's create a repository uh, so this is the same URL and uh, it will be up so uh, I'm uh, just checking the region if it is the same so uh, this will be a private repository this is the repository name and uh, I will leave the others by default let's create this repository and uh, we created it so let's uh, push our image now not here here docker push and now it's pushing so uh, this uh, will take some time and uh, the image will be pushed to the repository so our image has been pushed so if we go to our repository we have uh, one latest image here the size and everything else so we have our image in our repository I'll copy the URI here for the repository because uh, we will need it and now let's go to Amazon Container Service Elastic Container Service ECS and here go to the clusters and we will create a cluster so uh, I will select uh, the AWS Far Fargate uh, cluster because uh, it will uh, take care of the managing of the server for us if you want to manage your server uh, select this other one but uh, this is way easier if we select uh, AWS Fargate so let's go next uh, the cluster name so my app and uh, I will create a default v VPC for this uh, cluster and uh, I won't uh, select anything else let's create it and uh, let's wait till this is completed so the cluster is created click uh, view cluster and now we need uh, a task definition so go to task definitions and let's create a new task definition so I'll select Fargate next step the task definition name I'll call it app uh, the role I'll select none and uh, the network uh, mode I'll select the default and uh, for the task memory 0.5 gigabytes this CPU so I'll select the minimal versions and uh, the container here we need to add the container that we just copied so this container and the container name it will be also up uh, here we need to set up the port so 80 was the port inside the container so we have to map it here and uh, we can add also other configurations but I won't add any so let's add this and we added our container there and uh, that's it basically let's create this uh, task definition so it was successful and now let's go to our cluster and uh, here now we can create our service so uh, this will be also a Fargate uh, we need uh, the task definition uh, that we created so uh, Amazon will automatically assign it uh, we need a service name so app so we have a lot of apps with names number of tasks I will select one but you can select two it will create two containers 
uh, one it will be only one container so I will keep everything minimal but you can select two and uh, everything uh, should be uh, okay now so let's go to the next step subnets I will select uh, one of these options and uh, I will assign a public IP yes load balancer I will select none and the uh, next step uh, here we can uh, auto scale but uh, since uh, this is uh, an example I will not auto scale so it will be just a simple container review create service so everything is created so let's go to the view service and uh, let's uh, click here and uh, the status is pending let's wait till uh, is uh, uh, running and then after it's running we will have a public IP which uh, we will see it let's wait so our task is running now and we have a public IP for it so I'll copy this IP I'll paste it here and uh, this is our app so this is how we deploy a docker container to AWS Fargate Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.